as we face some record heat this weekend, some of you are looking for ways to cool off and relax, but could some foods cause you more discomfort than relief? Wake up Charlotte Megan Bragg has this morning's verify. Just take a look at these temps for the next three days. It's going to be hot and I don't know about you, but I'm probably going to get some ice cream with hot temperatures in our future. A viewer asked us, can you do a story on ice cream headaches? Are they real? Let's verify. Our sources, cardiologist Dr. Pyle Coley, family physician Dr. Robert Robinson, and Johns Hopkins Medicine. Many of us have heard of ice cream headaches or brain freezes, but the technical term according to Johns Hopkins Medicine is a cold stimulus headache. Both Dr. Robinson and Dr. Coley say this is a very real condition. What happens is when you eat something very cold or drink something very cold, there are little receptors in the back of your palate and the top of your mouth that essentially get triggered. It is a real thing, but it's not as its name implies. Your brain isn't actually freezing. Like Dr. Robinson said, your brain doesn't technically freeze, but changing the body temperature quickly can cause some pain. That reaction triggers the pain receptors right next to those blood vessels, which then carry pain along the trigeminal nerve. That's the nerve that gives sensation to our face up to the brain. The best thing to do if this happens. If you restore the normal temperature of your palate and throat, either by massaging the roof of your mouth with your thumb or just drinking something warm uh, or eating something warm, not hot, uh, but eating or drinking something warm to again, bring the, the temperature back to normal. So we can verify that yes, ice cream headaches are real. Both doctors tell us the pain should only last about a few seconds to up to a few minutes. If the headache lasts a long time, call your doctor. With your Verify, I'm Megan Bragg.